So I live in the fabulous city of Bristol in the UK and my boyfriend Ewan has now become one of the many van dwellers in that city. <laughs> As the current climate of the accommodation crisis seems to worsen, this seems to be more of a feasible option for people around here in Bristol. Like, th there's more and more vans popping up. As the end of his tenancy was approaching, he spent a good deal of time on spare room, aimlessly scrolling as so many people are trying to find somewhere to live and it, it just wasn't working. He met up with people and the odds just seemed to be against him. And Unfortunately, we very much are living in a time where there are sort of those stereotypes which make guys seem less desirable to live with. So he decided instead to nurture his absolute dream of living in a van and make that dream become a reality. And it's been incredible so far. We've spent the summer renovating bits and bobs. It already came um, sort of already kitted out. His parents made sure of that. They just kind of had imaginations of him laying down in the back of a dark transit. <laughs> so yeah, it already had bits sort of come with it, but there was also a lot of work to be put into it. To be honest, it's been so nice seeing you and so passionate about something, but also it is really tiring. It's quite a tiring process, like to be putting so much work and energy into your, your life, your home and to have to keep problem solving and having issues arise and having to deal with it, like it's so tiring, but then also facing the whole anxiety of living in a van, like you're not widely accepted, there's still taboo around that subject. Um, so it's difficult um, and things have also cropped up in that regard that you kind of have to overcome. So we've both sort of learned that it's not like this really Hollywood, type situation is it's also very real like living inside a van in the middle of a city center is scary i haven't personally slept in it in the city center but we've obviously been on some really lovely trips together whereby i have managed to enjoy it so we went to croyd in north of devon with his family we went camping and it was beautiful it was so 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 nice and then we also um, went to Gower, which is what you're seeing now. We went to Gower in Wales and my gosh, that was just honestly amazing. It was a trip of just me and him and we made a joke before he got the van. As, as it kind of, the van plan became more and more, we kept joking about Wales every weekend. And we even have a song that we sing about that very concept to one another. It's very exciting, it brings a lot more opportunity in the future, however um, that has sort of come to a halt which I will explain uh, more towards the end. So I've very much been reaping the benefits and the joys of my boyfriend having a van, going to these beautiful places, having these scenic views to wake up to and kind of just sipping on a really nice hot drink in a really beautiful field somewhere connecting with nature but yeah Ewan has definitely had to deal with the more difficult harsh realities of van life. I mean I did have one night where we slept in a lay-by and weirdly that presented a lot more challenges to me than what I thought. What happened was we were on the way to a festival and we got there 12 minutes late um, and the gate closed but the entire way there I was like they won't turn us away like if we're just if we just afterwards, like, they'll let us in, surely there's an overspill period, at least you would think. But no, it was very much like a shut shop, you can't come in, you have to go away. And yeah, so we, we found a nearby lay-by. And it was really difficult. Um, as somebody that walks through life with a lot of fear and anxiety of the world, it definitely presented a fair few challenges for me, but, Ewan is possibly the best person to have in those situations. He's, as you can probably already tell, like one of the most carefree spirits. And sometimes, by all means, I do struggle with just how carefree because I am quite a sensitive person to the world and therefore that makes me quite overbearing. Um, and I hate the feeling of not being in control but Ewan is very much a cruiser, takes life how it is, and 
it is a lovely gentle reminder for me that things are okay if you just let go things are still okay and yeah he's that calm in my very chaotic stressful world that I need sometimes But now it brings me to the sad portion of this video. Obviously I said that van life can present problems and issues and challenges you have to overcome and not all of them you can overcome. And unfortunately there was an issue with the van that simply didn't make it road safe anymore. And yeah, living inside your own vehicle, it's such a loose thread which can so easily snap at any minute. But this is still present tense because he will get himself another van. He's going to live with me for a few months and save up some more money and get himself a new van. So please stay tuned to see what colour the van may have next. Thank you so much for watching this and for continuously coming on these adventures with me. Sending you so, 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 so much love and joy. Bye bye.